hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to insert the record into the data table here I'm going to comment this out as well as this I'll just push this up I'll push it down save this okay I have got a data set with single table in it that is nothing but TBL employee save this let me execute it and check once now I get the complete information now what I want is I want to insert the record see I have filled the data set with the data table and I have disconnected now I'm completely working in disconnected architecture now I want to insert a record into this employee table the table which is present in data set so I can go for creating a new row with the help of a class called as data row dt data row dt row row equals to I want to insert a row into this table so I'll say table dot new row it is going to create a new row object for the table that I have in data set with the name tbl underscore employee now I will say dt row of column name what are the column names I need to get it from table employee of eid is equals to one 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 DT row of EMP name is equals to Manzoor the trainer next dt row of emp salary is equals to 77777 dt row of emp date of joining is equals to MMDDYY I need to use that format so month say 12 day say 13 year say 2011 DT row of EMP gender is nothing but male Finally, DT row of DID equals to 1009. That's it. I have prepared the complete row. Do remember that wherever I am passing the values directly, I can read these values always from the form. From the text box, from the drop down list, from the radio button list, from all the standard controls now after creating the row I need to add this row to the data table that I have in this data set dot data tables of tbl underscore emp dot rows dot add I need to say the data row is nothing but dt row I'll save this execute this 
now whenever i click the button this row should get added to the data table and in the data grid view it should display me that row here i have that row 111111 now let us see whether this row got inserted into the data table or not what do you say definitely not you can never find 11111 in database why because i am working on disconnected architecture and i have taken the complete data table in the data set and i have inserted the record into the data set i am nowhere i am going to update it back to the database simply i am working on the data set and a data table in it which is no way connected to the database anyway by the end of this video we will see how to update it back to the database save this Now one more thing that we need to observe here is that whenever i take the data table in the data set only the data structure gets copied along with the data we do not get the constraints on the column i will say instead of 1009 i will say 8888 8888 department id is a foreign key and in the foreign key table department we do not have any department with id 8888 so whenever i load the data table i get the data structure without any constraints so no foreign key constraints i'll execute this and we should see that department id with 8888 record get inserted into the data table even though there is no department it is accepting it if i copy this and paste it here instead of dt row i'll say dt row 1 copy this paste paste it it means that i have created one more record say the name is the trainer salary is 77 same date of birth rest of the things are same if you observe i have earlier record 111 and this record as well 111 it means that in my data table i am going to have two records with same employee id which means that only the data table structure gets copied but no constraint no primary key constraint no foreign key constraint nothing let me execute this and check should see there are two records with same key definitely these records are not at all going to get inserted into the database because i am working on disconnected architecture which is no way connected to the database but anyway we will see how to improve this in our next video so in our next video we will see how to perform edit operations how to perform delete operations and how to update all these things back to the database Thank you very much.